Installing and finishing drywall is one of those tasks that I absolutely do not look forward to doing. In a whole drywall process, the final steps of mud, tape, and sanding joints, it's the worst part for me. I know some tradespeople that just breeze through the finishing steps with ease. I'd rather have a root canal. So anything I can do to make this task easier is something that I'm motivated in looking at. On past projects, we've used a few corded drywall sanders and we've had good results. The problem with the corded units is that they're heavy machines and they tend to vibrate a lot. Nevertheless, I remember dancing around and getting all tangled up in the combination of electrical cord and vacuum hose. I had to pay real close attention to those two things and keep them untangled from each other in order to get the job done. Well, the Makita sanding unit is battery powered it does have a, a dust collection hose, but no cord. Single hose is a lot easier to keep in place and deal with than a combination of both. Let's talk about the Makita motor. It's a brushless motor, which typically tends to run cooler. It's more efficient. It's gonna give you longer runtime on the tool and life of the tool. It has a direct drive motor, which is positioned at the sanding head, which eliminates that whole shaft drive. So you're gonna have reduced maintenance. It has a soft start motor, which allows it to ramp up much smoother for longer gear life, and an overload sensor that is designed to alert you of excessive load, and that's gonna protect the tool from overheating. The head of the tool is highly flexible, and that's gonna give you some increased maneuverability across walls and ceiling orientations and transitions, and we found the sanding head swivel easily adjusted to those different surfaces, smooth to operate. The sanding head has a removable dust brush with an easy glide rollers, and that gives you seamless flush to wall edge sanding, which was great. As far as runtime, the sander's rated for 35 minutes of runtime. This with a 120 grit paper and a five amp hour battery. Um, when you adjust, talk about adjustability. So for heights, the extension pipe exp expands and con um, collapses up to six and a half inches. So that's gonna get you up to the ceiling easily. And there's a collar lock that was easy to adjust and lock in place. Internally, a constant speed control automatically adjusts additional power, and that's gonna maintain the motor speed under load. One really nice feature in the Makita unit is their auto start wireless system, AWS. And that utilizes Bluetooth technology and powers on and off a Makita dust extractor. A variable speed control dial, which is gonna adjust your tool from 1000 to 1800 RPMs to match your application, easy to use and well-placed. And the sander, the whole unit, it weighs 10.7 pounds with the battery. There is also a large two finger trigger switch and a lock on, and we found it intuitive and easy to activate. As well as we like the rubberized soft grip handles for additional grip comfort. I fully anticipated that my arms were gonna be fatigued holding and moving the sander for long periods of time. And nevertheless, I was super pleased at how well I managed the weight of this tool. Again, a little over 10 pounds, it was not bad. I think the ability to extend the shaft and marry the length of the tool with the job application needs helped me a lot, much more comfortable. Um, so how did the tool work out? How did it do? Well, I used a five amp hour battery. We were sanding with 120 grit sandpaper and I was running it for about 40 minutes nonstop. My arms were asking for rest long before the battery gave out. I like the weight, I like the balance of the tool. I found it easy to use uh, for flat work as well as working in those corners and ceiling edges. Um, I easily adjusted the motor speed if I needed to and I found the whole thing just intuitive. If you don't pay attention though, this tool will sand through your paper and tape. Um, it, it's got power. Lastly, it was super effective with dust collection and that's something that we all want. We all want the less dust of this drywall dust. There also is an adjustable extension handle and that's gonna uh, give you the feet of a uh, working height of about 10 feet. I, d I didn't need it on my job over 10 feet, but the adjustment handle, the extension handle is gonna give you another 22 and three quarter inch reach for higher, higher work. Bottom line, the Makita cordless drywall sander is made my job easy and effective. It made a tedious task, a task that I do not like doing, easier and I had a better workflow as a result of it. It weighs a little less or about the same as some of the sanders on the market I highly recommend it for anyone in the drywall finishing trades. 
These units come in at a bare tool around $539 and kitted at $699. And I can see how this sander is gonna save time and money when you're doing drywall finishing. I'll throw a purchase link in the video description below. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you at the next tool review. Take care.